Hey there, just wanted to pick up from where we left off in the last video when we were talking about backpacking cooking systems. I was saying in the last video that for the last few years I've been using this titanium, simple titanium uh, one pot, which is the uh, made by MSR, the Titan kettle, weighs 126 grams, great for boiling water in. You can use it as a mug, it's not too big and um, it's fine for doing things like, ideal basically for boiling water so you can make dishes like say if you've got like one of these sachets of couscous to add boiling water to that that's perfect, to make a brew it's perfect, you can even uh, do a boil in the bags just about, this is like a chicken and potato casserole if you have a bit of water in there you can fit that in you can fit the lid on and you can cook that through but it's not so good for cooking actually in the pan personally I mean you can do but personally I wouldn't want to cook my morning porridge in there and I certainly wouldn't want to scramble any eggs in there I'd take forever to clean and then next time you want to brew the thing's going to be all gungy and, and horrible and when I'm out backpacking I've got better things to do than be uh, mucking about in the stream if there is one uh, scrubbing away for uh, too long first thing in the morning before I can move on. So, um, oh, the other thing is titanium, you're going to get hot spots. On a stove like this, the heat is, I mean, this isn't bad, you get a reasonable spread, but nevertheless, the heat's going to um, go straight through the point at which it's applied. It's not like your household pans with a thick bottom where the heat is spread evenly. So, sometimes I want to do something more advanced. Sometimes I like the idea of having, say, some scrambled egg or fried egg, something like that. So I was looking at other solutions. Now, there's various um, camp fry pans on the market, the most popular of which are something like the Litec fry pan from Primus. And something like that costs about 25 quid weighs 250 grams there's a uh, the Trangia system fry pan uh, weighs just over 200 grams again it's a little bit cheaper but again these are hard anodized aluminium pans uh, they're very thin um, they're going to tend to get hot spots they're going to tend to be quite flexible so they can bend in your pack there's the MSR flex skillet that's another popular one again it's about 200 grams I was trying to think whether there are any alternatives um, so I, I was looking on YouTube and uh, seeing what the guys were saying and a lot of people are talking about this cute little pan. This is made by Tifal and it's a proper pan but just a mini version and it's called the Tifal One Egg Wonder from their Ideal range. And the great thing about this pan is that it's a proper pan. You put that on the heat and the heat will disperse over the whole pan. It's got a real um, home domestic standard nonstick fit, um, coating and it's got nonstick coating on the outside as well, which is nice. And it's pretty light. See, it's weighing in at just over 150 grams, so that's less than uh, most of the camp fry pans on the market. But the problem is, it is very small. It's only 12 centimeters across, and the inner surface, you know, because the, the sides slope in, the inner surface is only 9 centimeters across. So you can fry a single egg in there beautifully, but you can't do much else. You can fry eggs, it's perfect for like a pancake like a scotch pancake type little thing you can see Tinny from Miniball Design doing that on his YouTube channel if you look up One Egg Wonder and uh, Miniball Designs and it's great for that but it's not very versatile it'll fit in your pack you can even save a bit of weight by cutting the handle down but what else can you do it's not really big enough to scramble eggs in you're not going to cook much porridge in there um, and you certainly can't cook many baked beans or anything like that. It's nice to have something which is a bit more versatile. So anyway, I was quite interested in this range um, and I found out that there's another pan in the range called 
the mini chef's pan. So this is the Tefal mini chef's pan from the Ideal range. And I thought I'd pick one up because it looked pretty interesting. Um, and I like it, so I thought I'd show you it today. So as you can see, it's like a mini wok. Now that's great because you've got a big enough surface inside to fry in. The whole thing is about 16 and a half centimeters wide. The inner surface is nearly 12, 11, 12 centimeters. So that's, it's got a bigger fry surface than that inside. And you can fit more in because of the gently sloping sides. Weight wise, it's a little bit heavy. It's just over 300 grams. But the thing is, do you really need this, this handle? And as you can see, it can be quite easily removed, which I've done here, one I prepared earlier. Lose this little notch here, but that's quite handy for picking it up. Perfect to go on the stove. And now it weighs 215 grams. So it weighs about the same as most of those dedicated backpacking um, fry pans. But to my mind, it's a lot more versatile. Most of those pans are sort of 18 to 22 centimeters across. This is a slightly smaller, it's 16 centimeters, but that makes it a good compact size to put in, a, in, a, in your pack. It's got a proper nonstick surface in there, and really, that's big enough. You could fry a couple of eggs on there. In fact, I have done, and it works really well. Again, it's a proper pan, so it disperses the heat evenly through the quite thick aluminium. Fits perfectly on this stove. The little notch is quite handy. Obviously, it gets hot, but um, as long as you position it carefully, I have a little piece of uh, towel that I keep in my cook kit for just wiping stuff out, cleaning stuff up, drying it off or whatever, if I wash it. And this is perfect with that little notch perfect to pick it up. The other great thing about this is no longer, you no longer have to boil in the bag. You can pour your stuff in there. You can make a little stew in there. You could certainly scramble enough eggs for two in there. You could cook a whole can of beans in there. The capacity is uh, about 800 mil right to the to the rim. So that's, that's big enough to cook for two. Um, certainly big enough for one no problemo so this pan as i say it's the tefal mini chef's pan weighing just over 200 grams a proper pan big enough for one or two light enough for the trail and you can pick that up for between 10 and 14 pounds uh, online and from uh, a lot of retailers, including Asda or Walmart, Tesco. Um, so I would say that's well worth checking out. Hope that helps you. See you later.